what you want to do first is take your video if it's not in FLV format and convert it um, utilizing the Adobe Media Encoder. If you don't have the Adobe Media Encoder, I suggest you get it because it's a great tool for you to convert um, any video format into pretty much anything you want. And right here we need an FLV. Uh, before I launch this tutorial, I actually uh, put video.flv, which is the file I want to put in Flash, onto my web server. Um, if I open up Dreamweaver here, you'll see it on the right hand side. I already put it there so we don't have to wait for that. Um, and it's called video.flv. Um, let me open up Flash here. Once I'm in Flash, I can import, and then it says import the video. And down here it says already deployed to a web server. That's my option. You can also do Flash Video Streaming Service or Flash Media Server. Um, I haven't used those two options, so I already have a video on my server. So, let me type in my website name. Designs by Jonathan. Dot com forward slash video dot .lv. These are case sensitive, so be careful on how you type the name of your video. I'm going to click next. And this is the area where I have a choice of skin. Um, you know, the playback. I can use volume, I can use um, annot annotation, uh, editing, and all that kind of stuff. But right here, I'm just going to do um, play. Um, and the color, let's choose blue. That's my favorite color. Click next. Um, and let me finish. Now what's happening here is uh, Flash is communicating with my website and it's basically sending the information back to Flash saying this is the size of the video, this is the playback, and um, this is the skin you want to use. And I'll show you those files in a little bit. But once the information is done, we should see the video in Flash. And it looks like it's going to be a couple more seconds here. Okay, so there's my player, um, but now it's time to see how it works. So I'm going to do Control Enter, and that's going to give me a little sample. I grabbed this video off online, uh, showing my like, snowboarding. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, so I can pause it, I can play it. But what if I want more than the play button and I already published? Well, let me close this out. Right here is the component inspector. Um, if you don't see it right away, you can come up here, Window, Component Inspector, and you can start playing around with the options. I can change the color over here to some other color. We can choose gray. And there's other options regarding the player, um, skin and, and all that good stuff. Um, I'll go ahead and change the skin to something else that we can all see. Let's see. I'll do one with... Um, Let's do volume control and click OK. Let me do control enter one more time. And I can adjust the volume over here or raise it up, pause, play it, go further in. And this is all utilizing progressive technology. Um, you know, progressive video is the future of video online and it actually allows you to watch. Um, a lot more videos, a lot faster. So I think it's great. Um, so let's do this. Let's save the file. I'm going to save it as, um, let's call it uh, video one on my desktop. So we got video one on the desktop. And let me show you the published settings. What you want to do is you want to have yourself a Flash uh, document, but you also want to have yourself a Flash HTML document. So we're going to change the publish settings, publish settings under HTML to Flash HTTPS, and we're going to click Publish. And I'll show you what that generates. Click OK. Minimize our Flash. Minimize Dreamweaver. And this is what we get. We get an HTML document. We get the skin that we chose, and we get a Swift file that shows the video. Now all three of these documents need to be uploaded to your uh, web server. Um, if you don't, you, like if you don't put the skin in, you're not going to see the skin. So obviously you want all three files um, to sit on your server. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to drag it into my web folder. I'm going to refresh my local files. And I'm just going to select those files if I can here so I don't have to wait for everything. Well, actually, let me put this one. Let 
I'm gonna put this these two. Okay, so I have video1.html, that is my web page with a video, and it should launch it. So let me go to uh, Internet Explorer. www.designs by Jonathan com forward slash video one dot html let's see what we have there's my video and I could I could have said it so it didn't play right away auto you know auto um, but I just left it like that and that's progressive video the whole video is downloaded onto my computer already I didn't have to be if it was larger uh, the video was still played right away um, what else um, I noticed the title here is video one but let's say we didn't want video one as our title for our page. You can open up the page in Dreamweaver. I can change the title up here if I wanted to. I'm going to split it and go to the coding. There's no meta uh, information over here, so I can put meta uh, title, meta tags, um, like keywords. Um, you know, I can go even further down here. There's uh, no limitations, and um, it's amazing. And that's progressive video in a nutshell.